Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about computer science degrees. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is the point of a computer science degree when people say that it doesn't prepare you to become a software engineer? Well, I don't know who told you that uh, it doesn't prepare you to become a software engineer. I suspect that they either misunderstood the question or you misunderstood the answer or someone is a little bit, yeah, well, let's talk definitions and so forth. So yes, it is true that computer science does, you know, a degree in a bachelor's or a master's doesn't really matter. In computer science, it's not going to make you a software engineer. And the reason is not because it's not part of being a software engineer. It's just that it's much more to be a software engineer than what you're going to learn from a computer science background. So this is sort of a area where I argue that the vocational educations and like you know, courses and so forth that are not like pure university type of courses uh, are a little bit better in some cases. It, I have an exception because I took a few courses um, at the universities in the US where they really understood that part where they really I thought that they did it really nicely I was very happy I very impressed with the with the uh, course uh, courses that they had where they mixed computer science theory with practical coding experience and challenges honestly the course that I took at MIT was uh, a little bit worse. I mean, I know that that's a, a fancy school in some areas and so forth, and maybe they fixed it since then, but uh, the, uh, there were other schools who really understood that, you know, die-hard mathematical uh, um, problems in a computer science um, curriculum is very useful to if you want to focus primarily on the theory behind computer science. But most people who are studying computer science wants to have some type of practical usage for it. And not it's very rare that you know you're you're using these sorts of I mean, you can use in this case we were doing it in Python, so I sort of understood why we were doing that because the, the focus was very obviously more for academia, research, these sorts of um, areas of uh, programming where, where plotting things on a diagram is actually most of what you're doing in a sense. But the other courses were like you were doing things in C and we were much more focused on learning about how a computer actually works how a programming language works and how like and on top of that you got challenges where you were supposed to write unit tests and then when you could write a unit test uh, you could actually learn how to do a little web application and things like that it was a more holistic picture where you sort of understood not only how programming can help uh, how, how programming works and how a computer sort of works but also how you can apply it and actually build things with it and that is sort of the end goal for a lot of people now with that said, the thing that we learned in those courses were parts. Like, um, we, we learned how to actually structure algorithms, how computers work, etc., etc. And all of these things flow into the area of software engineering. It's just, as I said, that there's more to it. If you were to take, for example, now, a boot camp or like a Udemy courses or something like that where you focus primarily on learning the tools of the trade as I like to call them how to work in a specific stack or program and so forth then you might not do a lot of computer sciencey things and you're still gonna learn how to code it's just that you take a different route to the same end goal and this is the thing that is a little bit of a mistake I think because a lot of people don't understand that a a, a boot camp, a Udemy course, captures a part of what you need to be a successful software engineer. A computer science degree captures a different part of becoming a successful software engineer. Well, that is the idea at the very least. As I said, like I found one or two courses that actually has like a little bit of a hybrid thing going, but there's still much more to it. So, it, you can think of it almost as most types of professions where higher level uh, education is necessary, where the school is really only going to prepare you to bridge this, as, as I call the the uh, the uh, the investment distance, or bridge the distance uh, between where 
theory and practical uh, application exists so that a company is willing to take a risk on you. So an example would be if you are going to be a doctor, you probably know that most doctors they study for years before they even get to take an internship at a clinic or like a hospital or something like that but then they have more time that they have to actually be on the job and actually learn even more things we software developers have the same sort of sort of situation where when you take your education that's like the just preparing you so you're not completely fresh when you go out and you're supposed to do it for real but you're far from done you, if you can produce, as like the, in the, in a sense, the bootcamp uh, developers or like the people who take these so courses online, they're usually a little bit more prepared on f in terms of like what tools are going to be used, whereas the computer science um, students are usually a little bit more in depth in the theory and so forth. And most companies, guys, they want to see both. They want to know that you know how to actually write effective, good solutions in code and actually map out problems and think in a computational, like, algorithmic way. And also know how to use all the tools that they are using, like the stack and so forth. Because if you're just good with one or the other, well, then you're missing, I'm not saying 50-50, but I hope you understand, like, you have gaps in what you understand. It's like... If you're a police a police officer and all you're really good, you're really good at. I mean, you're really strong and you can subdue criminals, but you can't talk to people and get statements or like stuff like that. Then it doesn't matter how strong you are because I can't get you to do the job because the job is more than you know just chasing down criminals, and it's the same thing for our software developers. So the it. The reason of behind getting a computer science degree is not so much that like, I mean there is a benefit just culture-wise where there are a lot of companies who won't even consider you for a job unless you have a computer science degree. Uh, so in in that case, it will help you get your foot in the door in many cases. But it's not an, strictly a necessity to have a computer science degree. What is a necessity? What is really important is that you understand the way that r good software is be is made and it's very rare actually that that sort of more theoretical thinking is part of boot camps and online courses and so forth because as i said they focus more on the tools and just knowing how to do a tool uh, use a tool you can in a sense you can think of it as that they are teaching you how to use like if you wanted to be a painter for example they will teach you how to use the colors and how to sort of use the pen pencil and like how to use a canvas and stuff like that but the academic uh, like the more in-depth stuff is going to teach you different types of styles of working with the art that you are making I hope that makes sense. So that if you, once you take that those basics, you know how to just produce a painting. But to get really, really good at that, you have to push it further so you can understand like this different types of art and styles that you can work with when you know how to produce, yeah, a, a painting of some sort. So what I want you to take away from this is that getting a computer science degree. Uh, and sure, it, it 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 does prepare you to be a software engineer. It's just that people have this uh, who are going to go and become programmers, especially people going to college. They sort of think of this as get education, become thing, and that is true for some professions, my friends. But it's far from the norm if you really think about it. I mean, if you take a, I don't know, if you take a degree in. Um, like an MBA or like these sorts of other f fluffier, uh, broader type of uh, educations. Well, sure, you have an education, but it's really not like a rec it's not like a receipt that now you are this thing, like a software engineer or a salesperson or a CTO, a CEO or whatever, right? You, there's more to it. Like you've just been prepared to go out into reality and do the real thing, right? And so now it's on you to bridge the rest of the distance and what's in a sense a little bit lucky for our software developers is that it's actually a little bit simpler for us in, uh, to get like the full education that we need it's a little bit cleaner than for some other professions where it might be very difficult because if you have a computer science degree for example well the only thing you're really lacking unless you, uh, if you if you've been paying attention is to learn how to use the tools and as I've said a hundred times on my channel here, the easiest way for you to figure that out is actually go and talk to a software developer who works or somewhere in your region 
uh, go and look at the job postings, look at what types of tools people are using and take a few online courses. That's what the self-taught developers are doing and as I said, that's the only part that you really need on top of knowing how to actually write effective algorithms and like polyomorphism and all of this more advanced uh, theoretical stuff. Because when you have both, you are sort of as prepared as you can be to do the work. Uh, without having to do, without ha actually have done the work uh, to start off with. And then it's really down to getting your first job. Uh, that's pretty much the flow of how to do things. Yeah, have a great day.